Good evening. Parents of murdered teens in our city join forces today, hoping a united voice will finally bring about change. Their call is for tougher laws so that teens who commit violent crimes don't go unpunished. Catherine Hillard reports. It's a song of hope. Here the families of Edmonton's murdered youth not only share grief and tragedy, but hope that united they can bring about change. You know, it can happen to anybody, and Dylan was walking down the street. He didn't do anything, he didn't deserve anything, and now he's will never have him back. I still grieve a lot. I still have a lot of my down days. Something has to come out of this. I mean, what happened to him couldn't have just happened for nothing. My son's not here anymore, and I don't want to see anybody else to go through what we're going through. It's for that reason, side by side, they signed petitions. Then, hand in hand, walked through the streets of downtown Edmonton to visibly make a stand and to deliver a message to those with the power to bring about change. Make the sentences so that it fits the crime, uh, no matter of what age you are, especially the violent uh, offenses. Then that in itself shows accountability for your actions, and that in itself will start uh, changing uh, the way that these youngsters are thinking when they take a life. It's a cause gaining public support. About 200 people joined in the silent march to the Alberta legislature grounds, and only there did they raise their voices, demanding a justice system with teeth. Today, right here and right now, it's time to break the silence and say very loudly, if you do the crime, do the time. Anything less is uncivil, inhumane, and won't be tolerated. While they know they can't change the justice system overnight, the hope is their efforts will keep other parents from having to bury their children before their time. Dylan didn't just die for absolutely nothing. We're all going to band together and we're going to make some changes in this world. For Global News, this is Catherine Hillerud reporting. If you'd like to sign the petition, log on to www.joshhunt.info.